54, 56, 48, 50, 52, 54, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74. Yes, because that and that is part of there. So it's 174 link chain. <laughs> <laughs> not your everyday chain. No, it's not. <laughs> right, so you need a, um, a 3946 planking mill. Um, do you want to leave it with us? We'll give you a shout when it's, uh, when it's done. Oh, we've got to go. We've got to go. go. <laughs> We're under pressure. <laughs> right, uh, bar maintenance. Bar maintenance 101 maintain your bar yeah get the burr off so we just snapped a chain I've gone and got a new chain 173 link <laughs> uh, this is a 60 inch bar 150 centimeters uh, still rollomatic ES you know whatever that means um, so when I took it off the steel sign was upside down okay so I'm gonna file it because it's got a burr on this side from where I've been milling. Just not ever so slight, not bad. And um, and then I'm gonna put it back on with a steel logo the right way up. So I'm wearing the bar evenly, right? It's, I mean, it's simple stuff, this. On the edges now to the top. Doesn't need masses, just dress it up, yeah. You can feel it, you can feel it when it's just a hint of a burr left because you've done the edge. And when that goes smooth, you're laughing. Quick razz up each edge. Done, all right, nice and simple. Uh, Blaze's hot tip get a paintbrush, cut off half the bristles so it's a bit stiffer, and just use it to get in here. Yeah, get it all nice and clean then. Job done. Make sure that's nice so the bar can seat on there nicely. Put my adjuster back. I was on max adjustment, so I definitely stretched the chain. Um, it was ground down, I'd say, three quarters of the way. And it's, you know, it's a million chain. It's gonna take, it's gonna take some hard work. So let's get my adjuster back. Make sure, make sure you got your teeth, obviously on the cutting side. Get it in the top of the bar. Let's check that saw over. I mean, you know, if you guys are into milling, you're going to know how to put a chain on a bar. I accept that. But this is, I'm not trying to like teach you how to do it. I'm just saying this is how I do it. Okay, so the oil venturi, need to make sure that's clear. Okay, do you want to grab the end of this bar? She's in. Okay, this way and up. Okay, up a bit more in. That's the badger.
Okay, we're all there, all seated flush on this nicely, the sprocket. Let's get our cover back on. Right, tilt into me. Finger tight, do your chain tension. Nice and tight, yeah, with new chain. It's gonna slacken off. Right, lift the bar up in. Okay, really important, lift that bar. Go down again, E. Right, now up. At that other end of the bar, that went up two inches. Okay, and that will help tighten the chain too. Nice and tight gonna stretch we'll have to tighten it after our first cut you all the way up yeah yeah man 8-8 check you've got your locator roll chain capture thing located at the bottom on an 8-8 otherwise you bend it always have your chain break off when you're tensioning that. Right, let's get the mill on. Perfect. Let's do it. Good. Feel it out.